All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Harak Hakadash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to your brothers to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity, and may blessings fall upon the houses of the one third. And um, last night I came across this um video by Crazy Bone, right? Named the Mark of the Beast, featuring Bob and Ti. Um. You know, and I'm going to play about two minutes of this clip so you can listen, you know, what they're actually saying. And, uh, hey, as he goes into it, he's saying refuse the mark of the beast. He is saying crazy bone, right? Is saying refuse the mark of the beast. Okay. So I'm going to play this quick, quick, I'm going to play this quick clip, Slakia, you know, and um, then we're going to go into the scriptures. Right, because the problem I had with the song is they're not telling you what is the mark of the beast, okay? And you need to know what is the mark of the beast, right? So you can know to refuse that mark of the beast. So, without further ado, let's play this quick clip. This is an exclusive brought to you by that homie, you be murdered, the underboss. So there you have it, okay? As you hear late Crazy Bones chorus, it's saying what? Refuse to get the mark of the beast. Never walk with the beast, lest you fall with the beast, right? Hey, and if you take that chip, guess what's gonna happen, right? If you take the chip, right, which is the mark of the beast, you are definitely gonna fall, okay? with the beast actually right as the scripture says what the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation right so we're going to get that because that's the consequences of taking the mark of the beast but actually let's go into what is the mark of the beast right the mark of the beast is the rfid microchip 
okay? That is the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, okay? Yes, it's a little, um, it's a physical mark, right? That has to be implanted in your skin, right? And it's small, is a grain of rice, okay? Just look it up. So let's get the scripture of Revelation 13, verse 16. It says, and he, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, who is the he? He is speaking of Esau, Edom, right? But not just your average Joe, he's, uh, not, not, not just your average Joe, right? Of Esau, Edom, but speaking of the elite of Esau, Edom, okay? That's going to be pushing forth, right? Or pushing out the mark of the beast, right? Yes, and right. And his whole plan, his whole new world order is to chip everyone. That's why it says both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. Because that is his new world order. That is his whole agenda to what? Chip the people. Okay? So what? So ultimately, he could be your God, man, right? So you can be subject unto him because that's how the Esau Edom is, man, a so-called white man. He wants, you know, um, he has a, like we always mention, he has a God complex, okay? He wants to be the know-all, the, the knowing the knowing all, the seeing all, the being all, right? He wants to be able to have the life and death in his hands. You see? Says and he, I'll read it again, Revelation 13, verse 16. It says, any cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark of the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. See? So without you having that mark, right? You're not going to be able to buy. You're not going to be able to sell. You're not going to be able to do uh, things that, uh, um, you know, that's going to be back behind that whole chip system, okay? Without that mark of the beast, without that chip, you're not going to be able to do things, okay? Right, and they're making everything geared towards that system, okay? Just now for, uh, as you see what's going on now, right? You know, all the debit cards and credit cards, they have the chip, you see? And when you go into the, your local stores, what do they say? You have the chip, right? You have the chip because a lot of places I go to, you know, um, you can't just swipe your card no more. You got to use the chip system, right? Or your card won't work. You see? Hey, and there was a time where I didn't I didn't have the, um, you know, I didn't have the uh, the option to, say, to get a chip card. No, they sent me a letter in the mail and said, look, 14, you got 14 days to uh, um, activate your new card because we're canceling the old one. You have to do the new one with the chip. You see? So, that, hey, they're going to be doing this thing all around with everything, man. You see? Going into what? The cashless society. Right? That's why you got a lot of checkout places, you know, which um, say what? Um, no cash. Only credit or debit card. Right? Hey, I just went to, uh, you know, the liquor store to get some, um, you know, some strong drink. And one of the, and there's only two lines, right? And one of the lines said what? No cash. This, this register is for... Um, no cash, man. No cash only, man. You see? So, hey, man. You know, hey, and you got some of them, and you got some some other uh, lanes that say uh, cash only. But that's only for right now, man. You see? That's only for right now that it says cash only. Because they're about to do away with the cash, man. You see? Why? Because everything is going to be back behind that chip. You see? Hey, you're not only going to be... Uh, uh, chip is not going to be only used for your financial purposes it's going to be used for your identity purposes it's going to be used for your medical purposes they already have all of that being pushed into effect effect now right my aunt's already in the medical field and she says uh you know she got the little chip in the id and when she walks in the room a they got a little system where it just reads and already knows who you are man you see so they're pushing out as the as it is convenience right as it is a, a a secure identity and it's a secure thing to get to make everything easier and convenient for you, right? The less the uh, where you don't have to carry as much things, right? You don't have to uh, I, I, I just a lot of different things, you know. Uh, making the pushes a uh, technology savvy, right? It's so why you got people 
right? They don't even have to carry keys to their cars. You know, they just get the chip on their hand. They just touch their car door. Their car door is unlocked. Their cars start, right? Unlock the doors to their houses. Certain jobs, you know, already have it to get as a, as the, um, a security uh, key code to get in the building. You know, to make it accessible to get in the building without using keys. Just so many different ways that they're using this or pushing this this market of beast system to be trendy to be a uh, convenient to be security right for you people to easily take and easily accept it so hopefully you know you're getting my point uh, with this chip you know there's so much more i can go into but you know i want to <clears throat> try to stick on top right so i read it again revelation 13 verse 16 it says any causes of all both small and great great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell see if he that had the mark of the name had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name you see hey so a's right right refuse the chip right we always say don't take the chip but they didn't say what is the chip man and we i'm letting you know now man the chip is the mark the the, the chip right or the mark of the beast, right? Slocky, the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, man. Right? And even if Esau pushes out in a way where it's, you know, abbreviated as something different, hey, still, don't take the chip, man. Right? Because you got different places. They call it NFC, right? Which is near field communication. And RFID is radio, um, radio, frequency, radio frequency identification card. You see? So different places, they try to name it under different things. But, hey, same purpose exact same purpose right so let's uh let's go get the consequences you get if you take the chip right if you take the mark of the beast revelation 14 verse 9 it says and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his or in his hand the same should drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in, in the presence of the lamb right so a even going into it as he said um refuse the mark of the beast never walk with the beast lest you fall with the beast right if you are you know worshiping the beast in his image right that's for per se that is what that means you're walking with the beast meaning you are joined hand in hand with the whole system okay you get it refuse the mark of the beast that you walk with the beast right so if you um if you uh you know if you're worshiping the beast in his image right that's you know as if you're walking with the beast right so it says never walk with the beast lest you fall with the beast man and if you take that chip hey you're gonna be destroyed you see you're gonna fall man okay you're gonna fall and go down all right so let's read that again it says in um in a third in the third it's lucky and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast in his image and receive the mark Receive his mark in the forehead on the right or in, or in his hand. The same should drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he should be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. And the smoke of their torment is ended up forever and ever. And they and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image and whosoever receives the mark of his name. So, hey, you take the chip, man. Hey, you got a, you got a missile heading towards you, man. You, see, you got a missile written with your name on it. Right, because you know, fake Christians nowadays they would they would use this as this is speaking of hell, man. Hey, the scriptures don't speak about no hell, man. Right, there's no place where you go burn for, in the middle of the middle of the earth underground, six seven feet under, you burn forever. That's madness. Okay, so hey, if you take the chip, you got a missile on it, man. And there ain't no returning back if you take the chip, man. You see, there ain't no returning back if you take the chip. You see, let's get a scripture real quick, right? Um. And close our scripture with this Isaiah 13 Right verse 15 It says And everyone that is found Shall be thrust through And everyone that is joined unto them Shall fall by the sword Right And anybody, everyone that's joined To Esau the Edomites Right Y'all gonna fall by the sword You see Hey and this can go for Many different ways This can go for uh, uh, Our people Our people that's You know uh, Bowing down to the system And walking in, in his ways Our people that's in uh, Their uh, 
or oppressor's military or Esau's military, right? Right? This is everyone that's joined, you know, to the ways of, uh, of Esau and his whole society, man. Right? You nigga woman. You see? All, all you people, man. So guess what? Y'all be joined with them, right? Y'all shall fall by the sword, man. Hey, and a sword is just a, a sword is a symbol of, of destruction. Okay? A sword is also not, a, not just a weapon, but it's also, you know, symbolizes destruction as well, man. You see? So y'all shall fall by the sword. You see? And we know one of the swords, you know, in the scriptures of the Lord is what? Nuclear missiles. Right? That's why, hey, the scripture says they be, uh, known as what a glittering sword i mean a glittering sword right you know when uh, the prophets were seeing different visions you know arrows many different things okay so i read that again isaiah 13 verse 15 it says everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined into them shall fall by the sword do you have it right so as a hey, so as he was i would quote what he said in the song refuse the mark of the beast lest you Refuse the mark of the beast, never walk with the beast, lest you fall with the beast. Okay? Hey, like I was saying before, the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. So let's play that one more time. We can close her out. This is an exclusive. Drugs, you, but that homie, you be murdered. The underboss. Never walk with the things that's a ball 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 with the things that's a ball